I have changed my mind about Bear's flagship wetsuit, the Reactive. I used to think it was great, but it's way better than that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see all of your smiling faces and welcome to this yet another dive gear review, this time looking at my personal favorite wetsuits. Let's get the formalities out of the way straight away, shall we? This is not a sponsored video. I did receive the new lineup of wetsuits from Bear for free, but to be completely transparent, I was diving Bear wetsuits for years before I even had a YouTube channel. So I would have brought these suits anyway, but I didn't. So thanks to Bear for sending them to me. I appreciate it. Again, only you can decide if that biases my opinion. Also, as you probably know, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, I don't deal in clickbait. Oh my God, Dive Instructor Reacts. So as the title suggests, let me tell you what I got wrong about the Bear wetsuits in the past. Cast your mind back to Quick Tips 20 how to choose a quality wetsuit. In that video, I make the case that taped and glued wetsuit seams are undoubtedly the best because they allow the absolute minimum, if any, heated water loss through the seam. That makes sense, right? I mean, that sounds like I know what I'm talking about. However, the old model of bare reactive suits that I showed in that video were brand new, unstretched, unsalted, unrinsed. Fast forward to this year, and these taped seams are in a sorry state of repair. Now, I am very hard on my wetsuits. I go through about two suits a year, over 500 or 600 dives or so. Uh, I destroy them. Any given week, I'm inside a wreck, deep, dark, and scary with an advanced wreck student trying to find the line, and me trying to make sure the student in a completely blacked out mask doesn't brain themselves on some rusty metal. So my suits take a beating. And what I noticed with the taped seams was the tape started to split. And then the tape started to flake off into the ocean. Not good. So almost as soon as I realized that this is happening, Bear released their new model of reactive suits, which I've spent time diving and reviewing. Biggest change, most obvious change, is gone are the taped seams. Returned are the flat lock stitched seams, together with some nice additional features. Now we get a short neck zipper for relieving the pressure on surface interval. Love this feature, hot days on the boats. Thank you very much for thinking of this, you clever Canadians. And a big failure point on many suits, they've added reinforcement at the base of the zipper. So the zipper pull tab feels grippier now with this kind of rubberized tab and it's reinforced at the base of the spine. So when your wetsuit is down and you've got it peeled to half mast and you're sitting down, that puts stress at the bottom of the zipper common failure point and that's been addressed in this suit. So really happy with that. Uh, the knee pads have been upgraded to this more sort of Kevlar feeling material as opposed to just having some plasticky stuff over the knees. Not that I kneel, right? Why do we need knee pads on a wetsuit? Okay. Uh, also a big fan of the computer security strap that they've added to both wrists as well. Fantastic. So if you wear one computer on either wrist or one computer on both wrists, you've got a little added security there. All in all, nice upgrades all around. This is still my favorite suit. In fact, I'm making this video because I get asked all the time for wetsuit recommendations. And now I'm just going to send a link to this video. So all in all for me, a massive win. Now I've only been diving the three mil so far as we're creeping towards summer and soon even that will be too warm and I'll be down to just my bare exo wear. But old bare three mil to new bare three mil, I can say that I have not noticed a difference or any kind of loss in warmth with the stitched seams. Quite the opposite, in fact. This suit is incredibly warm and there's a couple of additional features that I think should be focused on to give credit for that. The first main reason for the additional warmth is this layer of graphene. Graphene, if you're not familiar, is a breakthrough technology. You're gonna start hearing that word and seeing it as more and more applications are figured out. Um, it's carbon-based material that is reported to be many, many times stronger than steel, yet is incredibly lightweight and flexible. Ergo, it can be knitted into fabric such as neoprene and the layers in the lining of the suits. It is electrically and thermally conductive, but also transparent and it's incredibly thin. So lightweight, flexible, 
but also thermally conductive. Ideal for a layer in a wetsuit. The second additional feature that I contribute to Bear's warmth are the seals that you'll find at the ankle and wrists. They seal almost as well as a dry suit seal, so you're not getting flushing. In other words, water that rushes down the arms and legs, that water that your body has heated, just flowing out at the bottom of the suit and out of your wrists. Um, it really does seal very close to the skin, but it also is very smooth and makes putting the suit on and taking it off very easy. This is also the most eco-friendly suit that Bear have ever made. Switching from solvent to water-based glues, ridding themselves of microplastics in the nice warm lining material, and doing away with any harmful dyes. So in good conscience, this suit is just all round better for the environment. I'm just breaking this new lineup of suits in now, so I'll let you know how their longevity compares to the older suits. I've already seen some fraying of the stitching, which I'm tending to by burning the loose threads, so I'll just have to let you know how that goes down the line. And here's an additional tip for all the vacation divers out there who notch maybe 20 or 30 dives per year. Have a look at what your instructor is wearing. If they're a full-time instructor like I am and they're racking up five or 600 dives a year, then they've probably figured out what suits last them and which don't. So there's no reason that your suit shouldn't last you for 10 or more years if you follow their advice. But yes, mine changed. No more tape seams for me. Until I release a future wetsuit video, know that the Bear Reactive is my wetsuit of choice. I will put my affiliate link to these suits in the description of this video below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me. Really appreciate you being here. If you haven't done so already, make your next dive on our subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Let me know down below what is your personal favorite wetsuit. And until next time, dive safe, dive often.